is up, guys? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, happy Sunday. So, <sighs> we have spent um, today kind of like low key. We went to church this morning. Uh, it was the first time that we left the the new dog home alone. Well, she's not alone. She has two other dogs here with her, you know. But and now they've got the and now they've got the zoomies. What the hey? Uh, anyway, so first time. Oh, okay. Noah, stop! Oh my gosh! First time we have left um, the dog home alone uh without anybody here and so um it just dawned on me i have a i have a a thumb th a tongue dispressor in my hair oh my gosh you guys it's the 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 chaos is ridiculous around here hello stacy leah crystal kathleen hi guys as you guys hop on say hello let me know where you're coming in from what time is it where you are i know it's super late um it's been a crazy day, okay? Hey, Noah, can you pause your video for me, please? Uh, get off the couch. Get down. Luna. My line is there. Can you pause it for me? Anyways, so we went um, to church this morning. Then we came home. And we realized that we definitely have to get a crate for Luna when we are not here. She, um, do you see this dog? Do you see her sprawled out? Oh, my Lanta. Anyway, um, she ate a bottle of pills. Uh, it was one, my muscle relaxers for my pinched sciatic nerve. I don't think, she, she must not have eaten very many if she ate any at all. I think she really just ate the, um, the bottle because she, she was co completely fine. Um, I had a brand new French press coffee maker, a glass one, sitting on the counter. It was in a million pieces on the floor when we got home. Um, what else? There was a, a, a plastic container of trail mix on, hey, of trail mix on the um, counter. And um, she obliterated that in the living room. Uh, she took a bag of um, Cheez-Its. Noah had had a bag of Cheez-Its and they were sitting on the counter. She took that into the living room and like crushed it into a million pieces. Uh, she put it on the rug, peed upstairs. Rip, or she didn't no. rip, but she just like scattered the blankets in the living room everywhere. No, I didn't so it was just do like, anything with Cheez-Its. I think that was Logan. I said no. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Anyway, so... <laughs> It was definitely a reminder that um, we need to have a dog crate specifically for her because she does not like, thank you, um, she does not like being alone, like at all. And so um, that's the next thing that we have to get. We're almost always here except for Sunday mornings when we all go to church. Um, and so there's nobody here but the dogs and yeah, it was fun. Uh, I just wish I could lose weight. If I could cut back with some sugar in my coffee, I would be okay, but I don't know. Um, if you, um, need coffee, but you also are like me where you're like, mm, I don't like the taste of coffee. I like the thought of coffee <laughs> or I want a little coffee with my creamer um this is what i do go 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 so i um we have like i don't know seven different flavors of this or more i don't even know but this is uh keto cream this is what i put in my coffee it's completely um sugar free it actually is um Oh my gosh. It's actually sweetened with um, stevia. So this one, so this one is creme brulee. 
This one is peppermint mocha. We've got pumpkin spice. We also have just a regular sweet cream flavor. Uh, what else do we have? We have caramel macchiato. Oh, stop. Um, I'm forgetting some. I'm forgetting some, but we have a bunch of them. They've got four types of collagen and three types of MCT oil in them. So they're amazing for hair, skin, and nails. That's why my hair has grown. Um, that's why my hair has grown. Hey, um, so much, you know, because last year I cut, um, what, six, 14 or 16 inches off my hair. And, um, so it's already grown and I have Hashimoto's, which makes it really hard for my hair to grow. Um, so for sure, uh, I love it for that. And just the, the MCT oil for your, um, for your brain. Sorry, I'm being attacked. I know, just sit. Anyway, um, so if you are, if you're looking for something like that, so you can still have your coffee, but stay keto, that was... That is definitely um, what I would suggest. So you can just message me and I'll give you de more details and I can tag you in some information. Anyways, so, okay. He's fine until I go live and then everything is crazy. Um, so I have, I got these keto cookies at uh, TJ Maxx. So... Go sit down on the couch. Yes, locked in. Oh my gosh, we're locked in. So I have peanut butter cookies. I have chocolate fudge. I have salted caramel and I have chocolate chip. So I don't want to try them all uh, because I just don't want to eat them all. But I'm going to try two. So which two do you guys think? Chocolate fudge, peanut butter, chocolate chip or salted caramel? Get him, Mama. I'm gonna come get him. Yeah, Esther's gonna come get your booty. He's like, I don't care. Yeah, and I don't care because I have weapons. Yeah, see, told you. He has weapons. Too. I'll oh. be your butt back because oh. I literally have a lightsaber. He's he's gonna get the lightsaber taken away. Okay, go. <sighs> Life with boys, y'all. Life with boys. Uh, Oh, anyways, so what should we do? Chocolate fudge, peanut butter, salted caramel, or chocolate chip? You guys tell me. Salted caramel. Salted caramel is the first one. So all of these are one gram or less of net carbs. Uh, I think it's per cookie. Yeah. So one cookie, like this one, the salted caramel cookie has 70 calories per cookie. Let's see. It has one net carb because it has five total carbs, two dietary fiber, two sugar alcohol. So one net carb per cookie. Chocolate fudge in caramel. Fudge or peanut butter. Oh, what are the flavors? Chocolate fudge, peanut butter, chocolate chip, or I can't open this stupid thing. Uh, what is this one? Salted caramel. Y'all. It looks a lot easier to do this when there's not a dog on my shoulder like a freaking parrot in my lanta. Okay, let's see. Oh, they're cute. They're cute little baby cookies. So this, they come eight in a package. Okay, so this one is the salted caramel. All right, here we go. Don't, you're going to fall, sister. You're going to fall. You better get back up there. You can't have these. Go. Go. Get your, get your little nose out of here. Oh my gosh. It's Dogapalooza around here, y'all. Okay. Oh, they're like stuck together. Okay. All right, here you go. This one is the salted caramel. I'm doing it for y'all because I'm not a big fan. She hears food. Yeah, well, 
she is just they're always all at my feet okay so here it is it's super soft looks good what buddy you gonna do what I just wanted my ladder out. It smells good. You can definitely tell it's an almond flour cookie. Okay. All of a sudden it got super quiet in here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you want to try this cookie? Does it taste like? It's salted caramel cookie. I can't really, it's, it just tastes like a butter cookie. <laughs> Noah said no. It doesn't, it, to me, it doesn't taste super caramely. It just tastes, oh, that's what you wanted. It just tastes like a butter cookie. No, it doesn't taste yet. Noah said it tastes yet. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Okay, so, yeah. They're okay. But you have to keep in mind I'm not a huge caramel fan. You can definitely taste the hint of caramel at the end. But otherwise it's kind of just like a... It's kind of just like a butter cookie. Okay, since so you're going to have to just deal with the bagel. Oh, jeez. Okay. Here. <laughs> Go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need something then chocolate because that was not good. How about this one? Because this one has, it's peanut butter, but it looks like it has chocolate chips in it. Let's do this one. Are you okay? You what? Oh, he didn't like the cookie. He said it's really gross. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this one, these ones are... Chunky. Okay. These ones are the peanut butter cookies. Well, you guys can see it. Peanut butter cookies. All right. No. We'll save those ones for another night. Let's try these ones. You said those ones were nucky, uh, yucky ones. Not good. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it was a double thumbs down, y'all. Double thumbs down. Okay. So this one is peanut butter. It doesn't say chocolate chip, but it definitely has chocolate chips in it. Nice. Looks like that. Yeah, looks like dirt in mine. Looks like that. I'm tasty. Oh, are you eating that one? What if it's not good and then you don't want it? I like this one better. What do you think? <laughs> it's still, um, it gets one thumbs up. It's still the almond flour cookie. Obviously, you can tell the almond flour. But this one, I think, is way better. Oh. <laughs> he gives it two thumbs up. Hmm? I think this one's way better. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? You didn't even try it. Yes, I did. <laughs> wow, babe. That was like the tiniest little bite. What do you think? I think this one's way better. And what? Is this the caramel one that I tasted? Yeah, that's the caramel one that you didn't like. This one, zero out of zero. <laughs> zero out of zero. Oh my goodness. That one's good. I think this one's a good one. So if you're going to get out of those two, I would get this one for sure. This one's way better. I think the chocolate just makes it better. But you know how when you make almond flour cookies, how it's kind of got like a, a mealy texture to it a little bit? That's what that has to it. I think with the chocolate chip, the peanut butter and the chocolate chips, 
you don't notice the mealy texture to it because you've got the chocolate chips to kind of like fix that problem. You know what I mean? So that one, that one is, this one is the one you want, the peanut butter cookie one. That's the one you want out of those two. But we'll give um, these two, we'll do these two another day. I also got these two for another day as well. Lemon cookies and then dark chocolate covered almonds. So I have those two to try as well as these two cookies, but we'll do those on another day. <laughs> He's getting water to wash it down. Anyway, so if you guys liked this little trial of the goods, the goods, these are uh, two good gourmet. Like I said, I got these at TJ Maxx because that's where I try to get all my like keto little snacky things to see if I'm actually going to like them or not. Um, so definitely get the peanut butter ones, not the salted caramel ones. Save your money. Anyways, that's it guys. That's all I have for you. My phone up there is going to die. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Come join me again tomorrow. Um, I got them at TJ Maxx, but I'm sure that if you go online and go to Too Good Gourmet, you guys can take a screenshot of that. Um, <clears throat> you could find them on their website. I have school tomorrow. Yes, you do have school tomorrow, and you gotta go take a bath. Yeah, I'm telling them. Anyway, I got them at TJ Maxx, but um, like I said, I would guess you could probably go to their website, Too Good Gourmet, and grab them from there. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Come join me again tomorrow. I, what's tomorrow? Monday night. I'm going to do I have the, uh, um, mushrooms that I'm going to make I'm stuffed going to mushrooms. Me. And I have a can of crab meat. So I think I'm going to do crab stuffed mushrooms tomorrow. Maybe I'm with, <clears throat> with like chicken breasts or something. So definitely come hang out with us. Um, because I've been dying for stuffed mushrooms for weeks and I'm like, I'm making them, I'm making them my darn self. Anyway, so thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. <clears throat> Come join me again tomorrow. Bye guys.